I've been I've been getting up five o'clock in the morning just laying in prayer and study. And God spoke to my heart in the morning and said, You know, for years you listened at the resurrection. Well, pray God, give my people understanding what's taking place. Sure enough. Yes. Uh -huh. You better know that. There are five phases to the resurrection, and we'll get to that a little bit later. Mm -hmm. be. But I want you to understand something. Where is your calling today? Yeah. Uh -huh. I'm not for all the games, I'm not for the gimmicks, on, but I'm for the reality, man, what the Word of God says, yeah. line on line, it preaches up, it won't preach up. Mm -hmm. Here little, there little. Now, the Bible says in the book of Philippians, the third chapter, and verse 14. Someone read that for me. Tell somebody, look at somebody and say, neighbor. Neighbor. I don't care how much God you talked about. The time you come out of the system. Amen. Amen. Help. Wow. Come on. Imagine yourself telling me it's a neighbor. Neighbor. I don't care. Philippians 3, 314. Can I share this quote? Mm -hmm. We had a prolific word this morning from oh, Apostle Hunt. Amen. Dr. Hunt. Amen. And what I thought about when he was talking about tasting, old taste and see. You know that when David said he sweeter than the honey in the honeycomb. Yes. You ever think about, you know, we, we talk about how sweet God is. I did some research on honey and I found out about honey. It don't germinate. It can't spoil. Hallelujah. So when David said what he said, and, 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 and please understand me, man, I know that revelation has been given. But I don't believe in the last day that revelation is given. I believe illumination on the revelation. Yes, yes. It's coming forward now. Hallelujah. Come on now. And when David said what he said, he used honey because he wouldn't say that honey was sweeter than God, but that was the closest thing you could use to relate to God. Hallelujah. So here, here what we at. It's what we at, man. He's sweeter than the honey and the honeycomb. Now I pray God, amen. Uh, 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 Apostle, you read that for me, please. I press towards the mark. Now wait, 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 wait a minute. Now, now, now look at that. Now the Bible says it's a pressure way, right? Yes, uh -huh. yes, so we want to look at some of the night you're trying to keep and what are we pressing to? Wow. All right. Huh? The Bible said the Lord of Prophets, amen, according to uh, 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 Luke uh, 17, they said the Lord of Prophets and John said that time the gospel of the kingdom is preached and every man presses the way into it. The kingdom. Yeah. All right? And some people are going to miss the kingdom because they don't know what they're pressing for. My God. That's real. Come on now. All right. See, a lot of people believe pressing for the kingdom, brothers, cars, homes. Come on, yeah. That has nothing to do with the kingdom. No, no, All right, no, no. Amen. But amen, the kingdom of God is to manifest the character of God in you. Yes, that's right. Yes. yes. For the hope of your calling. Yes. yes. So we want to see what the hope of the calling is tonight. Yes. Hallelujah. Oh, 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 pray God. Not what he said. Now he said, pray God to I press for the mark of the prize of the high calling. Now Paul said in 2 Timothy, 1 Timothy 2.18, he said there that Hymenius had overthrown the faith of many because he was preaching that the resurrection had already passed. Okay? Now watch this. There are different phases of the resurrection to the kingdom of God. And, and here you have to understand Israel very well. Yeah. Yeah. Hallelujah. And, and by the way, amen, I'm Ethiopian Jew. Yeah. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 I'm Ethiopian Jew. Yeah. Praise yeah. the Lord. Come on, prophet. Now look here, amen, you have to understand that when the Jews gave the offering, uh -huh. they gave what they call a sheep offering. That's right. mm -hmm. The offering of first fruit. Yeah. But we don't hear this a lot in the church today. No. no. The first fruit, praise God, amen, when when, 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 when the writer said in Kirk 3 and 15 that Jesus was the first fruit, amen, from the dead. He wasn't yeah. the first fruit, was the first fruit from the dead. All right. So what he did, he initiated the first part of the resurrection. Right. Okay? 
Now, what takes place? The second phase of the resurrection, or the first phase, or the first phase and the first phase, the second phase, according to uh, what it was Thessalonians 4, he said, the dead in Christ shall rise first. Right? Mm -hmm. huh? And we that remain shall be caught up together to meet them in there. Mm -hmm. Three phases already. But you've got to understand the mission between the just, the major, and the unjust. All right. But between the major and the unjust, there's five phases that take place. Mm -hmm. So when the Bible said here in the book of Revelation, the 19th chapter when the beast and the false prophets were cast into the lake of fire, come on now, and the Bible said he moved to the 20th chapter of Revelation, beginning in verse 1. He said, and Satan was bound with chain. He said, if saw another angel bound, Satan with chain. He was bound for what? A thousand years. Amen. So now Satan can't get no help. Uh -huh. The beast of false prophets are already bound. Right. He can't get any help. But in the midst of that, look what God does in the 7th chapter of Revelation. He takes 12,000 from each tribe. Right. Which was 144,000. Amen. And when he took 144,000, he sealed them. Yes. He yes. sealed them, pray God, uh -huh. amen, from the day of trouble. Yes. That was prophesied in the Old Testament. Amen. Now, what took place? When God gets done with the Gentile supremacy, he turns ministry over to the youth. They're going to preach, amen. Now, in the last half, in the last hour, the prophetic hour, yes. a prophetic hour was 15 years. Amen. Amen. Prophetic hour, 15 years. You take a 360 degree turn in the earth, 360 degree turn, it takes 24 hours to make that turn. 124 of a 160 degree turn is 15. 15, amen, is one hour. And we're going to see God now in the midst of the first half now, which is seven and a half years. God begin to deal with, amen, the church, amen. Now, let me, I want to share some with you. The church, amen, is the, the church is the kingdom of God. Yes, yes. Come on now. Yes. There are some problems in the law that was the entrance unto the church. But now being your heirs, we are heirs to the same problem that they have. Yeah, man. Hello. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Now look what takes place. In the beginning of that half hour, and I'm, I'm going to I'm going to lay some things out for you just a minute. Can, can I can I teach tonight? Yes, yeah, okay. Amen. Can I teach tonight? Hallelujah. Look here. What takes place in the midst of the last half hour? You remember people quote the scripture and say, well. Two are going to be in the field, mm -hmm. two are going to be left, mm -hmm. one be left, two be in the bed, one will be left, mm -hmm. one be grounded in the meal, one be left. Mm -hmm. Amen. That wasn't talking about the rapture. All right. <laughs> that wasn't talking about the rapture. That was dealing with Israel. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. All right. Praise the name. In the midst of the tribulation, amen, here's what God is yet to say. When you get to the thousand year reign, he said, the rest of the dead, they're not again, but he said, I saw them sitting on the throne, and I saw those that suffered for Christ, and that was those, amen, that came out of tribulation, yes. which made, amen, a part of the fourth phase of the resurrection. Yes. Now, the last phase of the resurrection is when the dead in Christ live not again to after the thousand years were finished. Mm -hmm. Now, get this. Now, we're going we're gonna to take a journey. We'll take a, we're going to take a journey, and I want, I want myself to be short, because I want you to feel the impact of what's being done. Remember when God, when he just read the scripture, he said, I press all the mark of the pride of the high call. Mm -hmm. huh? yes. Paul, in the third chapter of 1 Timothy, he gives 17 qualifications of a bishop. You read that and you go through them, you lay them out, there are 17 qualifications of a bishop. And he gives 14 qualifications of the deacon. Mm -hmm. And the 14 qualifications of deacons, one very important glitch is there. He said, a deacon must hold the faith and good conscience. Yes. That's what he said. Huh? He must hold the faith and good conscience. Mm -hmm. Now, the writer declared, we must earn the content for the faith. Right. Mm -hmm. Come on. The faith is not houses and, and land. That's not the faith. Mm -hmm. But the faith is in the death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus that usher us into a relationship with him that, pray God, we will be productive in whatever we do or whatever we lay our hands to. Mm -hmm. So now the writer said, now give me a definition concerning an Argentinian contained for the faith or, or holding the mission of the faith in good content. It says in Colossians, the first chapter, about verse 26, it said, amen, the mystery that was hid for ages. Now revealed to us. Yes, yes. Come on now. Yes. I mean, see, now look, brother, it's not revelation anymore. It's illumination. Yes, the mystery of the enemy is revealed to us, amen, which is what? Christ in you, Christ the hope of glory. Yes, yes, yes. Now, what is the glory you're seeking? What is the glory you're looking for? The glory you're looking for, according to Paul's teaching in 1 Corinthians 15, is a glorified body. Amen. Oh, come on, man. Yes, 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 yes. Hallelujah.
Hallelujah. Wow. Some people are going to have the body that Adam and Eve had. Some are going to have, amen, celestial bodies. Right. Read it from 3 to 15. Some people have everlasting life. Some will have eternal life. Right. Yes. Praise the name of the Lord. It's going to be a special, peculiar people that takes on eternal life. Amen. Right. Amen. Everybody coming to the church will not see the kingdom of God. All right. Hallelujah. Yes. That's true. That's it. 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 That's it.
name of Belshazzar, okay, and to Hananel, Hananiah uh -huh. of Shakari, Shadrach, Shadrach. Now watch this. For years as a young man, Pastor Shaw, I was in church raised in holiness huh? because my parents were there. But one day God told me anything about your parents, about me and you. Right. Yes, 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 yes. And I heard the message for years about Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Yeah, yeah. I said, God, they always went through the fiery furnace. Yeah. But God showed me how they got out. All right. Yes. yes. So a lot of us are going through furnaces that we need to know how to get out of. Yes, yes. And there's a system we need to get out of. Come on, come on. That's good. See, all this stuff about you scratch my back and I scratch yours and I feel the with you. Me, no, that's not what it's about. That's right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Glory to God. If you never, never fellowship with me because of the truth, so be it. Come on. Because me and my house, we're going to church alone. Amen. Amen. Come on now. Yeah. You don't come in and just open your mouth, but man, you need to see God yeah. and understand what you're doing before you open your mouth. Amen. The Bible said, don't open the sacrifice of the food in the house of God. Yeah. Right in the name of the Lord, now what you said, Shadrach, and, and the, the name Hananiah meant God, Jehovah has helped. Wow. Yes. Hananiah, they want to give him a Gentile name. Mm. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Then he says, now keep it all this in mind, because I'm, I'm going to hook it up, and then I'm, I'm going to do a trichotomy for you, and hook this thing up for you, and your spirit is going to be tremendously blessed. Yes. 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 He says here now, he said now to Michelle, he gave the name Misha. Yeah. Which means, who is God? Lord, have mercy. That's all right. That's then right. in Uriah, he gave the name of Benigo, meaning God has helped. So we see that Jehovah is God. Jehovah has, has, has been good, gracious. Yes, Jehovah is God, and Jehovah has helped. Mm -hmm. But notice this. Yes. The unit, Melbourne, God calls Daniel to find favor with him. Yeah. And the first thing Daniel said, in the province of Dura, all the people that's eating, Melba, I want you to do this for me. Don't allow these Hebrew boys to eat the danger from the king's table. Yeah. And he said, amen, in 10 days, 10 some out in judgment, in 10 days, come and see if they're going to be better than anyone in the kingdom. Well, see, they didn't know what Daniel was getting them ready for. Hallelujah. Yes, sir. They didn't know what he's getting ready for because that was going to be the time that, praise God, they're going to have to go through the fire. That's right. And, and, and when Daniel kept them on their face before yes. God, yes. he kept them, amen, knowing that you are not going to delete or revocate your identity. Oh. And because they didn't revocate their identity, when the time comes, their identity was going to show up. Yes. One day you're going to know who God is. Oh, yes. One day you're going to know that your hope is great. Yes. One day you're going to know that God has yes. helped you. Yes. Lord. Now watch the system now. Now I'm going to tell you something. See, the system got to sneak in on. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Hold that thought right there, okay? Okay. Yes, Hold it right there. Yes, sir. Let's go to Genesis. Okay. Mm -hmm. Genesis 11 chapter. Okay. I think it's worth 10. I mean, chapter 10. Let's keep down your mind here because we're going somewhere with this. Yeah. Hallelujah. A lot of people are worshiping three sixes, the six six six, and a very intricate part of it, and don't even know. Mm -hmm. Wow. Hallelujah. I didn't come to gain favoritism with what man think about me. Amen. But I come break God, amen, amen, that God's people. May be refurbished. Yes, right. sir. And restored, amen, That's back right. to the church, the first love. That's right. The church now is ever before in the Laodicean state. Mm -hmm. She sure is. Wow. Huh? Mm -hmm. Look what Jesus said. He said, I come for you. Yeah. God will never tell you anything that you're doing wrong and not show you how to get out of it. Amen. Oh, amen. Yes, sir. He told them their mistakes. He told them what their fault were. He said, I come for you to buy me gold cried in the fire. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Now watch this. In the in the eighth verse, in the ninth verse. No, in the eighth verse, read that for me, uh, uh, Pastor Brown. He was a mighty hunter verse before eight. the Lord. Verse 8. And Cush begot Nimrod. Now, 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 I'm going to tell you something. I need some history on Nimrod. Where we get all this, this foolishness from and, you know, uh, the East Age and Christmas and 
all this poison and like that, the God is ice tar, all this yeah, yeah. Right. Amen. 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 Praise the name of the Lord. Yes, sir. Amen. Word. Amen. Uh, uh, the Greek goddess, amen, performed. She uh, made a pact. Her mother made a pact with the devil and told the devil, said, look here. If you uh, call my da daughters and come up six months out of a year and then stay down six months, well, pray God, I mean, we can have a pact. And they gave up. They, they, they agreed upon it with a pomegranate. Oh. And what took place when profound was under the earth six months, that was wintertime. Everything dead. When he came on the earth, amen, six months on, on the earth, amen, it was springtime. And, 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 and isn't it what happened, amen, in springtime? We get all these pastel colors. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, sir. Oh, yes, sir. Hallelujah. <laughs> Jesus ain't got nothing to do with kind of better rap. <laughs> Hallelujah. Come on now with these things. Look, these things that last until this kind of stuff. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. And, and, and watch this. And you find that, uh, that Nimrod, famous, amen, his sons of mothers. That was incest. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Incest. Yes. She got impregnated by her own son. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. and, and, and she had Tamaz, and Tamaz's favorite pet was rabbits and chickens. Mm -hmm. How be fitting? Mm -hmm. Then you go to yeah, you go to Amen hey, Ezekiel. They said the uh, Ezekiel said that they baked cakes with cheese on them, mm -hmm. and the burden they fasted they fasted forty days for Tamaz. Mm -hmm. That's all this stuff coming from Easter time. Forty day limit. Mm, yep. Come on now. Mm, yes, and, and look, don't, don't, don't look at me like that because some of you go right on with it. Uh, <laughs> amen. Hey. Amen. Paul said, I've been to heaven. Paul said, I've been to heaven. He said, Ben, come on. Come on, I'm going to take you. Come on, I'm going to take you. 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 Now, I'm going to take you. I'm going to take you. Now, look at the text place. Nimrod. Now, he goes to verse 9. He said, What? He said, My heart is for the Lord. Watch this. Watch your back over because we're going to shift you, okay? What do you say? Read, man of God. Verse 9. He was a mighty hunter before the Lord. Wherefore, it is said, even as Nimrod the mighty hunter be before the Lord. Uh -huh. And the beginning of his kingdom was Babel. Yeah. Babel means what? Confusion. Yeah. Yeah. Beginning. Yeah. Not God's kingdom. Yeah. The beginning of his kingdom. Amen. People say there's one God. No, there's two. That the God of Israel, mm -hmm. the Bible said in 1 Corinthians, amen, 4, 1 Corinthians 4, if I go up in the hands, here's those that are lost, who the God of this world mm -hmm. has blinded their minds. Yeah. Right. So there is another God. Mm -hmm. He's called the God of the righteousness. Amen. And Jeremiah said, when Jesus said uh, in, 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 in John 15, he said, there he said, he said, I'm the true vine, my father, other man. All right? So the true vine has got to be a false, right? right? Then he said in Jeremiah, how has that become a degenerate vine? Mm -hmm. So, if it were truth, there's the other lie. Right. Wow. Yeah. Right. Let me tell you something. I'm going to tell, tell you something about Apostle Danielville. Let me tell you something. <coughs> I travel all over the world. Anytime you got any questions, come on now. You think you I'm not saying nothing? Now, come on, question me. Yes, sir. But you better know what you're doing. <laughs> Amen. I know Rookie just got out of school. Yes, sir. I've been doing this thing 40 years plus. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And I'm not going to tell God people anything to hurt them. Yes, sir. I, 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 want, I want to cut that spirit off and make it. I feel some of your spirit. Oh, oh, no. Cut it off. Yeah. Yeah. Don't play it on me. I'm not, man, you've been, you been ignorant all your life. I'm trying to help you, man. Yeah. 
from your father's house, your kinfolk, and give them to a man that I will show you. Abraham in the 12th chapter of Genesis was a part of another kingdom. The kingdom that Nimrod is set up. And God said, come on. Give them to a man that I will show you. And the Bible said when he came out, he built an altar, a man called Bethel. Meaning the house of God. Watch this. Get ready. Get ready. Get ready. Get ready to blow your mind here. Watch this. Hallelujah. It says here in Daniel. Now we see. Now watch this. Before a giant could come, the enemy manipulates to set the system up. Come on. Come on. Some of you are going to church all your life. The enemy has manipulated you. The system has been set up. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. Yeah. And Jesus told you worship God and know not what you worship. Yeah. 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 Huh? But the Father said you want true worshiper. Yeah. 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 To worship him in what? Yeah. 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 Come on. Yeah. Oh, may, 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 may I say this Sunday, my love for you? Yeah. And just a lot of stuff that was sitting in my spirit, man. Yeah. 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 Well, I tell you, I don't miss with many people. Yes, sir. I don't talk to many people. I don't Come on now. Yeah, yeah. I can't. I got the gardener spirit. Yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, yeah. 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 God, Lord, I'm you can't give God no seed. Yes, Lord, God. Yes, You ain't got seed to give God. The seed is produces you. All right, all right. Come on, right. seed is the word of God. Yeah. That's what it means. Don't put the corn wheat put the ground down by the lawn. If it dies, bring for what much fruit? Yeah. So, amen, when God gives you, amen, to build the character in you and death by the word of God, then you can offer fruit to God, amen, that's needed for the birth of the kingdom of God in you. Lord, have mercy. 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 Lord, and look what God had to bring out his spirit. Didn't, and didn't God testify when he sent Moses in to get him out? Amen. He said, Praise God. He said, I, I bought him out. He said, I bought him out of Egypt. The heart was still in Egypt. Now watch this. Y'all gonna say, Wow. The system now is coming to just. Yes, yes. But God will raise a snap to smite the enemy. First Samuel the seventeenth chapter. Seventeen. Yes, it is. Had a brother one night. I was on the, the major tent meeting, and uh, uh, Doctor Grant, a uh, young man with Zayers, and he's a novice, and he just. Nobody can tell him anything. And he come and he, he come by me and he was beginning to exonerate a character that just wasn't got me. And uh, I told him something. And he said, well, I don't know. He said, man, that, that's not Bible. It's not in the Bible. He said, and if it was, he said, but not. He said, but I, and I will eat the Bible. I know it. I said, okay. Prophet Grant told him. He said, he said young man, I'm chasing him across the day. He don't talk much. He said, but don't mess with him when he comes to Scripture. <laughs> the things he's saying. Amen. He said, don't do this. He said, I'll tell you what, if, if you say you eat the Bible, he said, I'll tell you what, be ready when it's night to eat it. Uh -huh. And I, I, I told him, I said, I want you to go and read this passage of Scripture. And I want you to get me, I want you to give me the three sixes out of it. Six, six, six. The system. He says, it's not Bible and the devil will be. Let's read it. Watch this. It says in the book of God, uh, 1 Samuel 17, uh, beginning at, uh, I think it's verse uh, 4. Okay? Beginning at verse 4, read that, uh, Apostle Brown. And they went out of ch out a champion. There went out a champion. Out of the camp of the Philistines named Goliath. Uh -huh. yeah, yeah. Of Gad, mm -hmm. whose height was six cubits and a span. Keep reading. Mm -hmm. Keep reading. And 
and he had a helmet of brass upon his head. Mm -hmm. He was armed with a coat of maul, mm -hmm. and the weight of the coat was 5,000 shekels okay. of mm -hmm. brass. Mm -hmm. Read. Yes, and he was grievous of brass, of brass mm -hmm. upon his leg, and a target of brass between his shoulders. Okay, oh, read. And the staff of his spear was like a weaver's beam. Yes, yes. And his spear had weight 600 shackles of iron. Mm, mm, mm. And one bearing a shield with, with went before him. Let's keep this in mind. Keep this in mind. We got the system. Set up by who? Nimrod. Uh, Nimrod. He tried to ease his in on But Daniel did something that caused the system to come down. Because he fed the Hebrew children the word of God. Okay? Now, they also said, at what time you hear the sound of the sacrifice, the two children, and all these instruments, bow down and worship. Huh? And that was happening now? I don't care what they say about Michael Jackson. He needs to be saved. Amen. 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 Do you hear me? Yes, sir. Amen. Yes, sir. Come on now. Amen. I don't care what they said about uh, Stevie Wonder, Elvis Presley. Let me tell you, brother, you can't straddle the fence. Okay. It's holiness or hell. That's right. Amen. Holiness or hell. Or hell. Amen. 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 Come on now. Hmm, and I don't know what people say, man, they can sit around and play with it. You've got to have the Holy Ghost. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. You've got to have it. Yeah, sure do. Now we just read it, right? You've got to have it. You've got to have it. Now, now, let, 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 let me take you back over. Verse 4. And that went out of town out of the camp of the Philistines, named Goliath, who was a, whose, whose height was six cubits and a span. That's your first six. That's right. Mm -hmm. Okay? Verse 6. All right? And he said, what, he had a helmet of brass one, a coat of mail two, a uh, beam, a uh, 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 head, a uh, 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 great amen, three, a staff, four, spear, five, and a spearhead, six, seven, six. And then it says that what? And one bearing, amen, weighed 600 shippers, the third six. Six, six, six. That's the giant system that has been set forth. Now I'm going to take you somewhere else when I get through with Daniel, when I get through with Daniel 3. I want to line it up to you, amen, prophetically, okay? Amen. Now here, amen, we got three senses. Now, in the book of Daniel, the third chapter, I think it is. Let's go back. Is this all, is this all right? Amen. 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 I want you to know that man, there was a trick here because in verse 2, the word governors and captains is used interchangeably. That's the same, amen, they use synonymously. So that's, that's basically the same word using, amen, synonymously, okay? But watch this in verse 1 it says, Never can either the king made an image of gold whose height was three score cubits. That's the first six. 60. A score is 20, right? So three times 20 is what? 60. Okay? And watch this. In. Verse, uh, in verse uh, 2 it said, And number 10, neither the king said together, together the, the princes, the governors, the captains, the judges, the treasurers, the counselors, the sheriff. That verse right there, man, because the word governor and captain are used interchangeably, it would be seven because they use it interchangeably. I studied that they use it interchangeably. That's your second six. Okay? Now watch this. That at what time you hear the sound of the cornet? One, flute, two, hawk, three, sax, what? Four, salsary, five, two chairman, uh, what? Six. All kind of music. That's your third six. Six. Six, six. Now the system was given birth to by Nimrod. And all it was given birth to is to cause utter confusion. In the minds of those that have to walk with God. In order to keep confusion out of the kingdom of God, Daniel took these three Hebrew boys separately 
indistinctly and set them aside and taught them privately. Amen. Praise mm -hmm. God. Because they knew that was a crisis coming. Yes. Oh. One day they're going to raise this image in Dura. And when they raised the image, they said, What time are you here? All kind of you. Bow down and worship mm -hmm. this image. But now, here come the realities of the trichotomy of what they named were. Now it's time for us to find out that their whole hope is Christians. Mm -hmm. Come on now. <laughs> the right feet, the right attitude, the right character built in you. Yes, Fine, they will let you know if your hope really is Christians. Yes. Not by how loud you're talking, right. but behold, you'll be your chase conversation. Amen. Come on now, you're a man of living. Amen. Come on now. Amen. Humbling yourself on the mighty hand of God. Amen. Now here they are, man, they become gracious. They, they found out they're holy gracious. Then they find out, amen, that your hope is good, and they find out he's help. And what took place? They said, Shepherd, I mean, why don't you bow down and watch the gym? They say, Look here, O King, we be coming after you in this matter. Huh? If God be God. Mm -hmm. Huh? We can certainly, if, if he don't deliver us. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. If he don't deliver us, yes, we're not going to bow down and worship oh, you. Oh, yes, sir. My God. Yes, sir. My God. It's time for the church to get Holy Ghost Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, Amen. Amen. He couldn't change your name. Yeah. So he's going to try to bind you now. He's going to use excessive force. Bind him up. Cast him into the lake of fire. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Seven times harder. Mm -hmm. When they throw him in, grace started walking down there. Your hope and grace is start walking down there. Yeah, yeah. Your hope and goodness start walking down there. Yeah. Your hope is help has been walking down there. And through that trichotomy, the Bible said, said did we throw four, three in the fire, old king? He said, yes, yeah, said that was four. One loose in the fire. Yeah. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. That was son loose in the fire. My God. <laughs> Arthur Brown, I did a teaching some months back on uh, mm. Technon, in the Hebrew, Technon, Technion, and Huyas. Mm. And technon in the Hebrew means an infant. Mm -hmm. It's an infant. Mm -hmm. Technion means the stages of growth that it goes through or the stage of apprenticeship. Mm -hmm. Remember when Jesus laid men for from uh, from eighteen, from twelve to eighteen years old, we heard nothing about Jesus, right? Mm -hmm. And what took place? Well, what happened among the Jewish people, a man could not be taken to the priesthood unless a man had carried of 30, 33 years old. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. So now here it is, 18 years later, Jesus now stepped out of the preacher program, the technion, into Helios. Wow. And when he stepped into Helios, what took place? When that father realized that the son had made the grave to come to Helios, he would lay his hand on him and say, This is my beloved son who I'm well pleased. Yes, 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 yes. How many of you striving for Helios tonight? Yes. Hallelujah. The fire. Mm. So it didn't, it didn't uh, take their clothes, burn their hair, amen, burn the ropes off of them. And look at what the testimony came for say, amen, let it be known in Dura today that we know the God is just a God. Yes, Lord. Yes, my God. Now, let me take you somewhere else. You find, after Daniel, of test the system. Okay? Now just test the system. People are not preaching and teaching this right now. Yes, sir. Oh, don't hear me. Yes, sir. Daniel speaks. In the seventh chapter of Daniel, he speaks about the four beasts, didn't he? Mm -hmm. And when you really begin to go into, when you really begin to study eschatology, mm -hmm. and you get to eschatology, you begin to find what was really working. Mm -hmm. You find that when Daniel said, the first beast, huh, had the form of a lion. Yes. Yeah. Read, read in Daniel 7. You, you can read it. Man, yes, I'm just, I'm, I'm, I'm just yeah. like yeah. you, man. Yeah. 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 Amen. Huh? So the first beast was, amen, the lion. Yeah. He had two wings. Yeah. Now remember the person we said that, that found Babylon needing confusion? Mm -hmm. Nimrod? Mm -hmm. We see the system coming up now. Mm -hmm. That's the lion. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wow. The Bible said he had two wings. Yeah. What he did, amen, 
the weeds, he rolled in power. Yeah. All right? The second beast was the bear. Yeah. Which was Medes and Persia. Mm -hmm. And the bear had three ribs in his mouth. Lord, I'm right. Hallelujah. Yeah. Three kings. Yeah. Three ribs. Three kings. That three ribs in his mouth. And the Bible said that, mm -hmm. praise God, for what it was, the bear subdued the kingdom yeah. of Babylon. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Study Lord. the history. That's right. I mean, it, 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 don't, it, don't, it, don't, it don't bother me about all these folks prophesying. Hello? Amen. I don't know this, amen, a word of knowledge over the prophesying. Come on. Come on. The Bible says, for a few, I give you more sure word of prophecy. Mm -hmm. Prophets understand these mysteries. That's, That's right. right. That's right. Oh, come on now. Amen. Me telling you about a house and a car, ain't no prophet. That's just a word of knowledge. It's a word of knowledge. Come on now. And, and if you don't watch it, man, you become a soothsayer. Oh. 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 Yes, sir. So here it is, the bear takes the kingdom of Babylon. But notice as the kingdom digressed, it builds into a falsehood. Come on now. Yes, sir. The Bible said in Proverbs 9, 6, it said, wisdom that build a house. She's hewed out of something to her. She's big in the wine. She's killed a beast. She's thoroughly furnished her table. Hallelujah. Paul said he walked with beasts at Ephesus. Mm -hmm. Wisdom in the word. Amen. Pray God. You got a daddy, but your mama got wisdom. Mm -hmm. yeah. Amen. Amen. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. Well, I just uh, Amen. I'll let, I'll let that float a minute. <laughs> <laughs> so here it is. The bear now takes the kingdom from Babylon. Yes, sir. Then we see another beast. The leopard that has four heads, mm -hmm. but he got two more wings mm -hmm. than the lion. Lord, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Still the same system? Out of Nimrod, follow me closely. Yes, sir. Okay? Now, what takes place, the leopard, well, I got two more line, two more wings than the lion because he arises, tried to snatch the power. Mm -hmm. And the four heads of the leopard were four generals that came under Alexander the Great. Mm -hmm. Amen. The Greek. Yeah. Watch this. Now that the Greek has come on the scene, Daniel said he saw a fourth beast. Mm -hmm. Trouble from all the other four. And he stomped the residue of them under his feet. My God. The beast had ten horns. Yeah, yeah. And that was a notable little horn that come up. Yeah. And plucked up three of the horns. So three Minus, and then three subtracted from ten leaves you how much? Yeah. Now watch this. The fourth beast was pagan and paper on. Amen. Come on. Pagan and paper on. And then that fourth beast, when it raised up, amen, when the little horn raised up and plucked off, amen, three horns, pray God, and seven left, that's where, amen, the woman, amen, the Roman Catholic Church sit on the seven hills of Rome. Wow. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, my God. Yeah. Oh. Said the Revelation. The woman sitting on the head was called to the beast. Yes, that's what it said. Hallelujah, come on now. Yeah, yeah. Amen. Right and check your name, man. And, and, and what, what is Revelation 18 for? Come on, my people. It speaks in Revelation 17, uh, the mother of whore, the holy daughter. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Then it said, what, and, 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 and what is Isaiah 41? And that day, seven women mm -hmm. should take over one man. Mm -hmm. That's the system. Mm -hmm. Wow. Only that'll be called by your name. Mm -hmm. Isn't that what's taking place? Amen. Yes. That's right. Amen. We can be captain. We can be messenger. We can be united. Come on, we have to stay away from the 